With Thanksgiving just days away, today is the busiest day of the year at the Hunts Point Market in the Bronx. It's the world's largest wholesale produce market delivering items across the country. As CBS's John Diaz reports, the pandemic is not slowing down the operation. You could call him a Santa Claus of Thanksgiving. His truck is a sled. The produce are the gifts. And though Thanksgiving will be different this year, Charles James is still delivering. It's an unfortunate situation, you know, we're going through with the pandemic. We just got to keep going as best we can. It's food he hopes turns into joy during a tough time. Thanksgiving is family. You know, it's family time. I grew up. My brothers and sisters, Thanksgiving was a big deal. The truck driver is one of hundreds at the Hunts Point Terminal Market today, working through a pandemic to make sure produce gets to the shelves of supermarkets in time for the holiday. Five days worth of business in just three days. It's the busiest day of the year here. More than 30 million pounds of produce will go out the door. This year, with the pandemic, wholesalers are selling to more retail vendors like grocery stores and less restaurants. Everyone's looking forward to some of these small family dinners. Cooking at home for a more intimate crowd has also led to a larger variety of food leaving the market. Items like aloe, turmeric, garlic, um, you know, different things that are immune boosting, you know, items and things that people are using for garnishes a little bit more because they're having the time and they're taking the time a little bit more for their smaller dinners. And almost everything New Yorkers will eat this Thanksgiving except for the turkey will come from this Bronx market. We're proud to feed the people of New York City. Not everyone can say they were part of putting food on the table for Thanksgiving, but this team can. It's a real nice tradition. However, your family is able to celebrate it this year. From the Hunts Point Market, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.